only kill one. What? What? Sarah! Who do you want to hear die? No. Hello everyone. So the last video was, uh, I, I just want to say when I post like theory videos, I'm not saying I truly believe, um, what, uh, whatever I'm saying is going to happen. That's just me saying what if and introducing a possibility that, you know, prepare yourselves. Anybody could be the villain in the next movie, you know, um, it's scream after all, you know, a lot of the twists and turns that the franchise takes, it's always somebody close to the victim, I suppose, um, um, or it's always somebody connected to somebody who's close to the victim, you know, uh, either way, I'm just saying, you know, open yourself to the possibilities that even, even the good guys or the good gals of the franchise might end up being Ghostface by the end of this, uh, trilogy here. Anyway, at Geeky, uh, no, at Geek Tyrant, excuse me, dot com, there's an article titled Scream 6 moves like it's on rocket fuel and will feature a bolder and more brazen ghost face uh, i definitely recommend going to check out that article it's authored by joey power uh power lists a quote from co-director matt bettelini open here's what open had to say we wanted to make this really different while still having all the stuff you love having a bolder more brazen ghost face was a big part of that and that's the end of the quote. We can already see this ghost face is a little more bold by hunting down Tara and Sam to uh, the store and killing a mouthy customer and then the store clerk all during the day, which is pretty bold, I would say, and pretty brave I uh, to, you know, potentially risk it all. But anyway, uh, additionally, power, uh, power, excuse me, lists a quote from Melissa Barrera. Uh, who is Sam in Scream 6? There was a saying on set, directors uh, Matt and Tyler were always asking for more blood and more sweat. They always just wanted more. More blood spurts, spritz, excuse me, was the saying because they would just always want more. With the last Scream, they were tiptoeing and trying to be very respectful of what the franchise had been up until that point and keeping their inner gory dreams at bay. But with this one, they were like, we're going all out. It's potentially a hundred times gorier. And that's the end of the quote. I, I, I guess um, whoever ends up being a victim in the movie, it's not just going to be a couple stabs, you know, it's not going to be a, a slicing of the throat. No, I guess uh, Ghostface is um, the three, supposedly, in the synopsis. I guess they're going to be a little more brutal in how they um, uh, attack their victims anyway. Lastly, there's another quote that power uh, exists, uh, lists a quote from co-director Tyler Gillette. It, and here's what Mr. Gillette had to say. It really moves like it's on rocket fuel. You sit down, it starts, and the movie is just a ride. You get off two hours later and you feel like you haven't taken a breath. This starts and it just goes. So there aren't really these large pockets to talk about other movies it of course has all of the fun nods and meta commentary but we really loved how accelerated this story is it felt like a reflection of how accelerated the process of making it was and that's the end of the quote so yeah i just wanted to share this with y'all um i guess we're in for a hell of a ride for scream six as uh the co-directors um are releasing their shackles, I guess you could look at it that way, and making a movie both paced and as violent to their liking. Um, and since the synopsis informs us that there are three Ghostface killers, it does make me wonder who the most violent and brutal Ghostface villain of the three will be. Since we've already seen one Ghostface risk everything by attacking Sam and Tara during the day at the store, it makes me wonder if that is the ghost face specifically um if he or she is the most violent and brutal of the characters because he or she is not holding back and is risking everything anyway like and subscribe if you're new here to those familiar faces that i see in the comments thank you so much for your love and support and make sure to wash your hands don't touch your face have a good day